So when I was trying to decide what I wanted to share, I knew I wanted to do Christmas because that is the holidays coming up and I love these snowflakes. Um, I feel like every year we have a good snowflake set and I was super excited about the dyes that were, were with this set this year because um, this Mary Snowflake stamp set has the dies that coordinate and there are so many in there. I feel like we don't always have as many dies as we do. So I was really excited about them. So I've been playing with them. I wanted to just show you a few of the projects that I came up with using this stamp set and dies and then just a fun little extra. <laughs> You'll see. Okay, so here's some cards. This one I actually just took inspiration from the catalog. There's one that looks really similar in there. I made a few changes, but aren't they just so cute? So fun. Merry everything. So cute. This one I used that big, um, this one in the background all over. That's kind of a cool, that adds just that little stitched look in the back. Here is, this one's one of those fun movie ones. So cute. And then I had to do a shaker card. So using these, what are those? These fun subtle shimmer sequins made a shaker card. So those are some fun cards. Oh, and I did a little box because we have these cute snowflakes too. So cute. Okay, so then I wanted to make some ornaments. Have you guys ever made ornaments with snowflakes? I'm sure some of you have, but for those who haven't ever done it, I wanted to show you how to do that. Now, this is, it's pretty intricate stuff, but they come out so fun. And they have those little mini trees that are so popular these days. And I thought these cute little snowflake ornaments are perfect for one of those mini trees. So I used this, mostly this, what is this paper called? I don't even have it up here. I mostly used that, but I also used, okay, this is an idea. I'm all over the place. But I, these snowflakes that are the iridescent that are just in the catalog that you can punch out, I used the scraps of that and cut them out of that too. So I have lots of little iridescent snowflakes too. Anyway, okay, let me show you how to do it. So I started by cutting four snowflake pieces, all the same, okay? And these ones I did are with the, um, the bold, just the outline of the snowflake, and then I did the little stitch on the inside like this. But you can also do it with the intricate ones too. I'll show you that too. So you take these snowflakes, and you're going to just score right down the middle of all of them. So I've already done these two, okay? And I use a post-it. You can use washi tape too. And I just use that to hold it in place so that it's not gonna go anywhere when I wanna score it, okay? So just score it right down the center of all of those. Okay. And then We'll fold them. And we're just going to glue these all together. So I like to use the Tombow, we call it green glue, because it's green. And I like to use this because you have a minute where you can still move this to get it exactly where you want it, okay? So adhere are the pieces all together, just like that. And then on this side, OK. 
Okay. And you have a little dimensional snowflake. And then you can add a piece of twine or ribbon, whichever you want. I just make a loop knot and just stick that down in and hold it for a minute. And then you have an ornament, okay? So let me show you some of the ones I did. So this is with that, yes, that really pretty paper that I can't remember the name of. Iridescent something. <laughs> so there's all those. Oh, this one I added a few rhinestones to. Here, oh, this is that out of that snowflake one. That's fun. And then added some more of those sequins, shimmer sequins. So, super fun, super simple. Well, maybe not simple, not fast, but very fun. So I have a little tree I'll decorate and put over there you can take pictures of. But yes, that's what I wanted to show you.